you always um, think positively uh, on whatever happens to you. Uh, obviously, you know, sitting for a few weeks uh, kind of make you itch a little bit and, and make you want to, you know, really play and get back and help your team win. And, uh, and yeah, that, you know, that's pretty, pretty much it. Mark, Nick also mentioned that it allowed you to maybe do a little more work on your shot than you normally go this time of the year. What, what did you put money into it and what, like, how, how drastic is it? It's a secret. No. <laughs> uh, no, no just, just looking at the basket, uh, you know, tweaking a few things um, from the shot and, and uh, you know, taking a little time, like, you know, more mechanics than anything. Mm -hmm. um, balance, uh, just the good stuff, but it's all, mostly it's mental yeah. always. Uh, um, obviously, having um, time to see it and uh, and seeing the ball go in a couple times that always helps. Uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, and yeah. What's clicked offensively for the team the last couple of games? Is it as simple as guys getting healthy? Or uh, I think my, my surprise defensively, I think that's what <laughs> was clicked. Uh, I think you know defensively we create a lot of turnovers that allows us to run and, and create easy buckets and and that you know it's it's kind of creates that a. Uh, Momentum for us, where it's uh, communicating and selfish, uh, moving the ball. I, th I think it starts defensively for us. That that consistency uh, allows us, uh, and that trust allows us to run. And, uh, and you're not afraid of you know getting the ball go through your hands because you're going to get it back. Um, and it's good. Starting as big as you have the last two games, I mean, the turnovers for the other team have been up a ton. Does it feel like your size is really making a difference, or does it sort of not matter who's out there? Uh, I think the moment? minds of the guys that come in, no matter who, who we are, that, that's going to start, it's, it's, it's critical. And then, you know, the game is not done at minute six. You, you know, the second wave is going to be, you know, it's, it's a continuous <laughs> effort. Like, so. Um, it's more about how you finish the game and how you play those end of the quarters that we, you know, trying to improve a little bit um, each game. That uh, things that you know you need, we need to work on a little bit and mentally, but it, it's all positive. Does it, does it feel like you're at the halfway point of the season, or does it feel not quite like that because you've had time? Mm. Uh, I try not to think about it. Uh, you know, I go game by game, week by week, and try to invest as much as possible into taking care of my body and, and putting yourself in the best position to help the team and uh, you know you don't try you don't think like okay we played this amount of games or this was left like right now you your job requires that you get on on the plane and go to Minnesota and play tomorrow uh, it doesn't matter like all the other stuff that you can uh, worry about and think about it it's not going to change the outcome of that you got to go there and, and do your job how do you assess where you guys are at now in the first half of the season given all the adversity that you had to face and, and coming out of it the way that you all have. positive all positive you know uh, the tough part that we have you know we're a very deep team you know, we're a very deep team and we have a lot of guys that have stepped up and uh, and now they don't get to see the floor as much and uh, th you know that's that's tough but you know it's it speaks uh, very highly of the guys that have played and, and really done a great job of uh, you know holding it down um, for the team and, and doing a, an awesome job at it